This video is set up as follows. Professor Eric Schreder, a Dutch neuropsychologist, will explain exactly what's happening to our brain when we meditate. Very intriguing and exciting stuff. After that, I will make the translation to what does that actually mean when we're sitting down and what are the benefits for daily life? In the literature, you see a difference between uh, professional meditators and, and you know, novice uh, people are starting up sure. uh, with meditation. There's a difference in, in neuronal activity. Mm. One of the differences is that um, when you start off with meditation, you need much more mental effort to, to get this feeling of meditation. And it depends a little bit on what is the target. Uh, is it a matter of more, let's say, self-referencing or do you want to uh, put your attention to something else outside yeah. yourself? Uh, it all matters a little bit. Uh, so what you see in uh, in one of those studies when you are looking at uh, the difference between office and more uh, experienced meditators is, for instance, that um, we are talking about um, less stress. Mm -hmm. uh, then you see that uh, particular parts of the brain Hey, that's a big brain. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the parts is the ventral medial prefrontal cortex is situated here. Yes. Situated here, this part, which has a inhibitory effect on, let's say, limbic structures that are important for play a role in anxiety or in depression, in, um, let's say, um, rumination, like uh, we're worrying. Sure. And uh, so in the novice, uh, meditators, you see here a high activity yes. because they want to suppress all those not um, favorable emotions. In, in more experienced meditation meditators, you see that they accept more, mm -hmm. that those, those feelings are a part of your life mm -hmm. and they, uh, they invest less effort to suppress those feelings. So you see that in the uh, novice um, Meditators, they you see here a high activity because they want to suppress mm -hmm. all these negative emotions. Yeah. In more advanced people, you see that the activity here is less. Yeah, that's incredibly one of interesting. Explanations that they well more or less accept that mm -hmm. those feelings are part of their mm -hmm. let's say mm -hmm. meditation process. They and you know, you know why the brain that you have in your hand is from a novice, because it's got a nail right through the prefrontal <laughs> cortex. <laughs> The reason I made the joke about the nail going straight through the prefrontal cortex is because for novice meditators, when they just start, as Professor Scherder said, the mental effort is so much and you're sometimes thinking, why am I getting all of this pain and why are these thoughts driving me nuts and why can't I find this peace of mind? Well, it's because you're inexperienced and the mental effort at the beginning is really worthwhile. If you're looking just for relaxation, there are different techniques for that. There are techniques outside of your body. So not with your eyes closed and specific focus. No, relaxation techniques are things like body scans or listening to music or going out for a walk and only focusing on beautiful flowers or listening to the birds. And this brings immediate relaxation and is wonderful. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you want lasting change from deep self-knowledge and from understanding yourself, because the only way you can bring about lasting change is by understanding the habit patterns of your own mind, then when you sit down and you close your eyes and you work on very specific techniques, you will be confronted at the beginning with a lot of thoughts. But please don't be concerned about that and stop fighting them because that's like putting oil on fire. The more you fight and try to control your mind, the more it fights you. So an experienced meditator, by the way, doesn't suppress emotions or thoughts whatsoever. You become so experienced that you sit down and the thoughts start. It's a bit like popcorn uh, or like mosquitoes, as I say uh, on my courses. And they just go on and on, but you don't mind them anymore. They're there and before you know it, Calm does come over you, but from a very deep sense of self-knowledge. And from that calm, many, many quality thoughts come. And you don't have the anxiety and the depression and the worrying that you do have if you don't have this kind of 
self-knowledge experience. So I encourage you to sit down just for five minutes at the beginning if you're a beginner. And if you're somebody who's meditated a lot and who's stopped, I also advise you to sit down only for five minutes a day. Because when we break things up into little pieces and we build up over a couple of months, we can become a very experienced meditator without too much pain and too much mental effort. But it's also important not to want to avoid that. It's also learning to accept anything that comes up. Because when we try to control things and hold on to things, that is how we develop stress. So I hope that this practical information helps you and also the scientific stuff that's going on from Professor Schreider.